welcome back to the channel. Now, if you're not subscribed already, please make sure you do subscribe right now so you can see more of this. So it is now December and this time of year is, well, it's a lot about family and friends and sort of treating others with, with gifts. But I also, at this time of year, like to treat myself with gifts as well. And in this case, my M240i. It has had a lot of stuff lately done to it, although I haven't really taken care of any cosmetic bits, until now at least. If you saw my five things I find annoying about my M240i video, you'll know that I sort of mentioned a couple of cosmetic bits I didn't like. One of those was the tailpipes being a little bit puny and small, and Quicksilver took care of that by installing their Titan Sport exhaust system, and the pipes are now bigger at the back, so look really good and aggressive. And also the rear diffuser, which I just never really, well, I never have been a fan of, and I think needs to go. So today, I'm down at Auto ID, and they're gonna be taking care of that for me. We're gonna have a really, really cool carbon fiber diffuser on the back, I cannot wait to show you. Secondly, something I hadn't really mentioned before, but on the interior of this car, I'm really not a fan of these sort of silver, plasticky, aluminium star finish pieces. I think they just, I don't know, they just look cheap and they feel a bit cheap as well. So again, Auto ID today are gonna help me out with just that uh, by replacing a couple of bits in there with some nice carbon fiber too. So actually, I'm very excited to get this going. Uh, but first, I thought it would be a waste opportunity not to get Jack here on camera to chat a little bit about Auto ID and actually just the plethora of products that they do. There's just a ton. Um, so we'll do that now and then we'll get started with fitting these bits to the M240i. Auto ID is a, a styling superstore. We specialise in all bits that make your car look nicer, essentially. At the moment, we specialise in BMW parts, but I would say that uh, the store as a whole was growing um, on a daily basis and uh, we're now happy to offer parts for uh, Porsche, Tesla, Mercedes, Audi as well. Uh, they're probably the other key manufacturers we supply parts for, but we do anything from front lips to mirrors, grills, diffusers, spoilers. Um, and I think the key thing is that we don't just supply our own brand products um, over the last sort of four or five years that we've been running, we've developed a lot of relationships with people like 3D Design, Vosteiner, Sturken, all of these really big AAA brands that trust us to obviously distribute their products and obviously fit them here as well. So yeah, I would say that's what Auto ID is all about. Obviously today we're here for your car, so I think it'd be good to have a little walk around and see what we're yeah. going to do for you. Can I ask you as well about, so I've heard this diffuser that we're fitting today. Yes. Is this a sort of first of its kind? So the diffuser that you've got today is going to be the first uh, first of its kind. Uh, it's a new Auto ID um, own brand product. So we're going to do a bit of sampling today, see how it fits, um, see how the style looks on the car, get some shoots. We've got our photographer down here, Cal, today, who's going to do some promo content for us. And yeah, that's, that's, that's basically it. We're going to see how it goes. And obviously, after that, if you like it, we're going to obviously offer it to our customers as well. So let me introduce you guys now to Josh. Josh is going to be responsible for, well, actually, you're responsible for organising this, so thank you. For yes, that. that's all right. <laughs> I appreciate um, it. Yeah, we, we wanted to obviously do a nice few touches to the 240i without going too overboard straight yeah. away. Yeah. Obviously, it's quite a nice looking car already with the wheels and the bits and bobs you've got on so far. Nice spec as well. Um, but just some nice bits on the interior. We've got two, two main bits without going full overboard, doing the sort of full. Um, interior we're just going to start with the steering wheel centre trim which replaces the sort of y-shaped silver bit on the car at the moment and then to match that we're going to do the gear selector which is a nice piece looks just so to, good yeah it's a smart piece it starts the de-chrome process and kind of gets the interior on the right track um, to, to looking a bit smarter and a bit nicer. And the thing is as well, the steering wheel is quite a good one because that's sort of what I'm touching and looking at the whole time. Sure. So that's a nice one to, uh, to start with. Absolutely, uh, yeah. It's a, it's a good piece. I think it just smartens it up. Like I said, the silver is just a bit, in my opinion, just doesn't look quite as nice as the carbon. You can obviously go a bit too overboard and you throw the can at the car straight away and do the full <laughs> kit. So I think just by doing the first few bits, you're doing it in the right way, get the feel for carbon in the car, and then we can obviously do a bit more down the line as well. Just behind where you were standing, we can have a little look at the diffuser just there. It's obviously 
lit up quite nicely um, on the show. But this is a diffuser that we've been um, kind of working on and refining a lot over the last few months. Um, renownedly, a lot of F22 diffusers fit quite poorly, which is why maybe some of our customers and friends and followers might not have seen um, that many diffusers, if any, on our store so far. So this is one that we're quite sort of excited to obviously fit to your car. It's yeah. a bit of a test project. Um, and obviously lined up with your new exhaust that you've had fitted will be quite a cool combo. Um, it's just going to look great, isn't it? I think it's look mega. Um, I'm, I'm really excited. Today is actually the first time I've seen that diffuser as well. So having seen the diffuser, now seen your car, Jack's obviously getting straight to work on getting the old diffuser off. Yep. Um, I think it's going to be really cool. So I think I'm going to start cracking on probably with the steering wheel trim first, okay. whilst Jack's doing some bits on the diffuser, and then we can uh, we can start sprucing up the car a bit. Okay. So we're going to start in here then with the, uh, the wheel carbon. Absolutely, yeah. So starting off with the trim, um, just for the guys and, and sort of girls that don't know about the steering wheel, a lot of people get put off um, with how to maybe take things apart. They're worried about the airbag, they're worried about how to unclip it. It really is quite straightforward. Not a lot of videos on YouTube show it that well. They do a little bit, but maybe not with the sort of technique um, that you need. So it's quite easy to remove the airbag and trims off the wheel. You basically start by inserting a flathead screwdriver there's just a hole under there if you guys can see it. Oh Ho yeah, yeah. Hopefully you can. Yeah. And then there's one on the other side as well. And all you guys have to do is just insert a flathead almost straight in line into the hole and you'll feel a spring. And it quite literally then does just pop the airbag out really simply from these sort of clip points on okay. the side. So it's quite simple. Um, and once you've got the airbag to this point, all it is, there's a little clip on the inside. Although saying that, but it's not gonna come out now. There you go. And really, that's all it takes. That's so weird, actually. Out. You just see. I know, it's quite funny seeing the airbag like this. A lot of people get scared, disconnect the battery. I've not disconnected the battery because if you take it slow, no electronics are on on the car at the moment. So that's one thing to take note is that you don't want the radio on. You don't want the sort of iDrive system on whilst you're doing this because then the car will know you've removed the airbag. But because the car's off at the minute, it's none the wiser. So that's a little tip for Excellent. people that didn't know. And then really, it is just a bunch of um, torque screws on the inside. There's one on the underside rear, just here on the back of the trim that I've undone already. And then there's two more on the inside of the wheel at the sort of two o'clock position and then the 10 and 11 o'clock position. Those two come out and that will release this full trim and then we can simply pop in this in place, the silver one. Excellent. So guys, look. There's the new diffuser, that's what it looks like with it off. And then the old one here on the floor. It's a very, obviously, the shape you can see resembles very nicely, but this one's got so many, obviously it's carbon, but so many aggressive slats in it. And I think it's just gonna look fantastic on the back of this car, especially with the sort of carbon lip I've already got there as well. Uh, it's just gonna be great. And actually with the black carbon tips that I've got from Quicksilver, it's just gonna match up really nicely, I think. Today. Let's go check in with Josh and see how he's getting on with this trim. Ah, oh, that looks like it's in. Yeah, it's all, all swapped over, so just switched out the silver to the oh, carbon. So and for those, again, that don't know, they've just got all these sort of clip points around the edges. Normally best to start from top to bottom, so you can unclip it both sides and just push it out nice and easily. And really, it's just a case of doing everything we did just a minute ago in reverse, so popping the sort of trim piece back on using the, the screws to put them back in, the one on the rear, and then really, um, we're sort of finished with this part, so we can Excellent. pop it in place just to see what it looks like. And start to show you that silver D-chrome. There you go. Oh, I love it. I love that already. Yeah, it looks nice. Okay, so someone tells me the car's all done. Yes. And uh, yes. diffuser's fitted, 
two bits on the interior yep. done as well. That's right. Um, so starting at the rear of the car, but like we said before. Oh yeah, look at that. Definitely beefs up. Um, Massively actually. The rear end. You've got two nice sort of fins in the middle, left and right, and then you've got the sort of nice circular shaped round the, the bigger exhaust tips. Obviously the the stock exhaust that comes with this, they've what everyone calls sort of pea shooters, but obviously you, <laughs> yeah. you, you've, ma you've made the upgrade, um, and obviously with the, ni the nice Quicksilver and the, the bigger exhaust tip, sort of fills this beefier diffuser a bit more. Absolutely. So I think it's a wicked piece to have on the rear end. Obviously, you've got a bit of carbon on the top as well, so it's kind of a double match uh, boot spoiler to diffuser. For sure, yeah. Um, and then obviously, we did two bits on the interior just to start that de-chrome process so oh yeah steering wheel really nice piece yeah that massively lifts gets it, rid it? of that silver and then we obviously got the nice carbon selector um to get rid of that silver as well Amazing. so looks nice on the interior it's a good start and i think it's um it's starting to shape up nicely definitely you guys are going to do some photos aren't you so do you want yes. to actually pull it out and i think get let's, some shots? let's get the car out let's get some natural light on it and we'll um, we'll take some some lovely shots of the build in the natural daylight and it can really see now I can get some distance from this diffuser the difference it has made honestly I guess the camera is picking it up but it just sets the car off so much it looks actually more aggressive than I thought it would which is great because that's really the look I wanted to go for I don't want this thing to be particularly subtle and um, yeah just look at this guys the way the carbon fiber on the quicksilver tips matches the carbon fiber here and look at these slats under there as well. It just looks, yeah, actually really, really pleased with that. It looks super, super aggressive. And of course, I think the guys here at Auto Idea are happy as well. So you should be able to get your hands on one of these for yourself um, if you want to, which is awesome. Also, of course, we shouldn't forget, I've had a little bit of attention on the inside, um, being the steering wheel, which, oh yeah, I'm yet to actually sit in this yet, but look at that. I think that looks fantastic personally. In fact, that Bath press car that I had maybe a few months back, one of my favorite things about that was the carbon fiber in the wheel. And that just really, really sets this off as well. Look at that actually. Yeah, really happy there. And gear stick, which is a nice little bonus. And I think that, I say gear stick, gear shifter, that in carbon just also looks great. But it's nice little subtle touches, isn't it? I think, you know, all of this silver stuff could go carbon fibre at some point. But I think to start with, these are some really nice little additions. I'm really, really super happy with that. So happy days. So I'm pleased to say the guys at Auto Idea very kindly agreed to give me a discount code so that you can go and treat yourself to some carbon dip for your car. Um, I guess for Christmas or even as a gift for someone else, but why would you do that? Just just get it for your own car. Um, no, I'm joking, of course. But, yeah, very kindly they've agreed to uh, let me offer you guys 5% off anything on their website, which is fantastic. Very simple code, JOEL5. Use it any time from now, and uh, you'll get 5% off your basket when you shop at Auto ID, uh, which I strongly recommend you do. I'm really, really happy with the pieces that they fitted today. And, uh, well, I don't think, let's say, this is going to be the last last bits that I get from Auto ID. So yeah, big thanks to uh, Josh and Jack here for, for sorting everything and doing such a fantastic job really quickly as well. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to future stuff with the M240i, but I think for now, that has just, oh, just massively, massively helped it. And I'm very happy indeed. So thanks guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys very, very soon.